Dog, you can be on the other side of that wall where that elevator at and still can hear what a motherfucker is doing on the other side. y'all to listen to the bike ground listen to her people in the bike listen to what she's saying watch so don't act like i was fucking with you because i wasn't you can you can vouch on my son i said no you cannot come to my barn you, was ready to you. Come. Was you come she said you was ready to go because i was on your ass let's hear that again This is probably the real reason why Monifa grabbed Kanika up off that bed off of Irene's sister. Remember, Monifa said her and Kanika was friends for 12 years. Then Kanika wanted more friends. Then Monifa and Kanika fell out because Kanika wanted more friends. It used to be just us, always just us. We never hung with nobody until she said she wanted a new friend. And when she got new friends, me and her fell out because I ain't like bitches. That's what happened. When she started making new friends, me and her fell back off each other. But when we came back, we always bounced back. Fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all get no- Irene just keep trying to get her to come to this party. And Kanika feel like, well, let me support my friend of course Monifa don't like this and according to Irene Irene is saying what I told the bitch not to even come but Monifa felt she needed to beat her right now some of you will say well maybe she was being there because you know, she was probably, you know, trying to protect Kanika, making sure she was straight, whatever, blase, blase, right? So that mean, if it was that, that means Monifa didn't trust Shamaya, she didn't trust Bri Bri. You feel what I'm saying? And Monifa is saying, you know, basically, she didn't even have her hair done. You know, let her know to be trying to go to a party, she didn't even have her hair done. All right? So... We're at this party, right? Monifa is at this party. And for some reason, she just feel that she needs to be there even though Irene said, hell no, because I ain't fucking with you. Now here it is, Irene people in the background saying, because you know, you know, she was ready to go because she know I was on her ass. Listen. Fucking weak ass op ass shit off. Y'all got this op shit plan. Y'all going fucking I'm ready to go. Nah. Why is Monifa worrying about some op shit? She said y'all got this op shit plan. If y'all ain't gang gang, then why is you talking like op this and op that? Like why why would you even be doing that, right? Why would you even be doing that? Now 
The point I'm about to make is because I want you to get an environment of what's going on. You see what I'm saying? I want you to get an environment of what's going on, like the energy that's going on in this room. You got Ty over there recording uh, uh, Kanika. A lot of y'all say that wasn't Kanika, but you got Ty over there recording Kanika. You got you know, Shemaya, she 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 chilling, you know what I'm saying? She kicking it with Irene, whatever. And you got Monifa, where it seems like, you know, they don't really want her there. But then you got Kanika, she drunk, she all, you know, laying all in the bed, like Monifa say on your loose ass, laying all in the bed, right? Now, what I don't understand is how in the hell Kanika end up riding with people who ain't even sticking together. Like Shemaya kicking it with Irene at this party. But then Shemaya don't even know when Monifa took Kanika out the room. Somebody had to, as she said, somebody had to kick her feet to get her attention. And that's when she realized that somebody hadn't took Kanika out the room. Now I'm looking at my phone or whatever. I ain't paying attention no more. I feel a feet kick my feet. Now I look up, Kanika gone. Now I ask Irene, where Kanika go? So she goes out into the hallway and her and Monifa is in the hallway. Bree Bree had them left with the girl keys. Why is Kanika riding with people who ain't even together when they hit this hotel? Like y'all niggas ain't even together like that. Why would I go to a party way out of, not way out of town, but I mean shit, it's far enough. Why would I go to a party with people who, as soon as we get to this party, you gonna go your way and you gonna go your way and you gonna go your way and ain't now one of us keeping an eye on each other at all period i got to call this person to get them back to the hotel this person don't even know that i even got or uh, walked out the motherfucking uh, room and, and the person that i walked out the room with ain't getting along with the motherfuckers that threw the party it was fucked up for kanika all the way around just by her just be being who she was with Do you feel me? So I mean, what can you say when it comes to this kind of company that you keeping? What can what can be said? Like, like what can not be expected? Like something something as bad is about to happen. Like you 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 around gang affiliated men or boys or whatever you want to call it right then you got girls who's affiliated with them but then at the same time the crew that you come with is messy as fuck nobody is even together man Shamaya said she had to get kicked on the foot to even be paying attention to the fact that this whole body got carried out the motherfucking dough the person that drove you there got carried out the motherfucking door and you ain't even know it so do you see this energy shit now remember what I was telling y'all about the two cups and Ty was saying something about so well somebody said somebody I can't remember it's in one of my videos matter of fact it's in the video that, that says something about two cups you'll see it if you, if you look through my um, channel but turn that turn that pappy ring tone off. One of them was saying, "Ain't no two cup shit." Matter of fact, that was Peas who said that. He said, "Ain't no two cup shit." Cause somebody rain tone kept and some people kept saying, "Hey man, I don't, I don't think it was that deep." 
It was that deep. It was exactly that deep. Op shit. Listen to Irene again when she say op shit. No song, you. Uh, I'm gonna ask you turn this op ass shit off. I turn, I play sicko, Maserati, and good dark sheet. Turn this look ass. Turn this, turn this, um, turn this motherfucking weak ass op ass shit off. Y'all got this op shit plan. Y'all blowing fuck out me. I'm ready to go. I got the train now. Like, I'm bitch. Who's talking about you? What can Nika say? Shakira, stop being mean. I made sure she was straight. This, this. What did Kanika say? Shakira, stop being mean. Do y'all, come on, man. But at the same, but now y'all want to say that, now y'all want to say what's bad energy in the room, but. Do you remember when Zyke TV asked your motherfucking ass what happened in the room and what did you tell him? Nothing. Everything was cool. Everything was cool. Nothing. We were straight. Everything was cool. Everything was straight. We're cool. Everybody knew everybody. But here it is. Shamaya saying what? What, what Shamaya say? Shit. As soon as we got in the room, we started seeing people coming in that we didn't even know. Kanika was looking at me and I'm looking at her like. Do you see why I say the shit that Irene is saying is part truth, but at the same time, she's still holding shit back? She only letting out certain things still. She's still only letting out certain things. It's the people behind her in her background you have to listen to to find out the beef. The people in the background is the ones who's letting you know that it was beef going on in that motherfucking room. And they ain't even letting you know all the beef. They just letting you know the beef between them and Monifa. But it was more beef than that. I pointed this beef out to you. It was more beef going on than that. So basically, this was a fucked up kickback. Basically, the kickback went bad. You got a motherfucker coming out in the goddamn hallway with a goddamn towel over their head and shit. One of the one of the drag one of the drag on um, drag boys. You know one of the gay boys. He coming out holding the towel over his head and shit in the lobby. The other the other gay boy trying to stop him from looking like he hurt so it won't bring up a red flag or not. But Irene, you said and see. That's another thing, dog. I told y'all, everybody was agreeing too much. It was a theme in the statements. It was a theme in the statements. Between everybody who gave a statement, it was this one fucking theme that just kept sticking to me. Everybody was cool. Everybody was chill. Cool, chill, cool, chill. These words kept coming across the fucking statements. Everybody who was in that room, the police asked them, how was it in the room as far as the environment wise goes or the energy and everybody made the same fucking statement. Either everybody was cool or everybody was chill. I say something wrong with that shit. And then on top of that, the police is not even writing in verbatim. You see what I'm saying? They just going by what I heard. So I'm a, you know what I'm saying? That's all they was doing. Just jotting down the, the nearest equation of what the person said. Well, they shouldn't have did that shit. Because that chill, that cool shit, that's a fucking, that was a cold to me. I'm like, dog, this shit, this, something ain't right. Some, how is everybody cool and chill when we sitting here looking at two motherfuckers go back to back about 
hey y'all 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 chill over here now when they going back and forth about um motherfucking um renegade and all that shit there and y'all this over there and we this over here and uh, how is it was cool oh that was that was cool nigga talk you got a nigga in the room saying um something Mike Mike going you know what I'm saying he talking his shit Kanika you know Monifo Monifo over there trying to straighten out Kanika make sure she calm down and you got Kill over there trying to talk to Mike Mike tell you I'm gonna calm that chill out man you man you tripping how's all this cool this was my plan to leave her sleep to so she could because Grigory was gone so I said leave but Monifa didn't want her be sleep all in the company of y'all see this was the thing she ain't want her to be sleep in the company of y'all it's something Shamaya ain't saying too because Shamaya said she went in the hallway right here's the kicker if Shamaya goes in the hallway and Kanika is telling you, I do not want to go back in that room. I just want to go home. But Bribe got her keys. Seems like Monifa don't really want to sit in this motherfucking hallway. I'm pretty sure just like Monifa was sitting on that goddamn bed trying to talk her to calm down and you know what I'm saying, enjoy yourself. I'm pretty sure she was doing the same motherfucking thing in the hallway. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure she was trying to do the same fucking thing. Because apparently she was ready to leave, but she wasn't ready to leave. According to Shakira and them, she was ready to motherfucking leave because Shakira and them was on her ass. But where was they going to go? And Kanika damn sure didn't want to go back in the room, according to Shamaya. So if Kanika didn't want to go back in the room, according to Shamaya, what do you think happened to Kanika? I'm ready to go. So just like the girl said, Monifa put Kanika on the elevator for her to go down to the lobby. Monifa, why you ain't telling this part? Why you ain't telling the part that you 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 sent the girl down to the lobby and it was your mistake? And she ended up going further than the lobby. Why you ain't telling that part, Monifa? Because it don't matter to you? Because she already dead and it don't matter? This shit matters. Because motherfucker need to know who in the hell in that hotel is doing this to people. Is this going to happen again? Has it happened before, Kanika? Or are we mistaken that the hotel was involved in the first place? Now, I'm going to tell you. How I feel about the hotel and that's really for another video because this video ain't about the hotel right now but how I feel about the hotel is you had too many eyes around that hotel to not know what the fuck was going on with this person stumbling up and down the fucking hallway you had too many eyes to not know that that's a start right there with the hotel then you can start digging in on the rest because you can't get off the hook. Like I said, you had too many eyes around the hotel for her to not be uh, 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 noticed. So there's no getting off the hook at all for as far as the hotel. But I want to know why Monifa have not 
told us yet the whole full fucking story about what happened to Kanika going out of that hallway. How did she come up missing? I don't think she was ever missing. I think she went in that motherfucking room knowing that Kanika was going onto that um into the lobby area and that's the fucking reason why she stayed and Shamaya remember Shamaya said she ended up going to look for Kanika herself by herself Shamaya went by herself looking for Kanika Irene said Monifa stayed in the room wanting to party Now you have to ask yourself, what kind of friend is going to say my friend is missing but then stay in the room to party? The kind of friend that know I put her on the elevator and sent her to the lobby. So I'm thinking with my drunk ass that she went to the lobby so I got time to still sit in here and party. I just broke it down for you. Right up, boom, right up, boom, there you go, boom. That's your answer. That's the reason why it seems, why would she keep partying if she know her friend is missing? Because she knows she's the one that put her on the elevator to go to the lobby. Does it make sense now? Ding. See what kind of shit we're dealing with? I want y'all to listen to Monifu, and I'm going to show y'all a picture, all right? You wouldn't think, see how she was about to say something and then she stopped? Cause I was I was drunk as, I was drunk as hell. I wasn't alert. No, she said I'm always alert, but I was drunk as hell. I wasn't paying attention to whatever blase blase. I wasn't thinking about cause 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 we always around Western them. You wasn't thinking about what? Why you brought Western them up? See how your head, see how the mind works? You have West connected to what you wasn't thinking about could happen. So you have this thing that could have happened and it could have been Wes and them, but you wasn't thinking about because you y'all already know Wes and them. See how she put two things all at the same time and rush right past it, but we ain't finna rush right past it. I caught your ass. You, let's, let's, let's hear that again. Like y'all funny. Only thing I'm gonna say that that's my fault, cause I'm always on alert. But I was drunk as hell that day, and I did I wasn't on my P's and Q's. I'm always on alert, but I was drunk as hell that day. I wasn't on my P's and Q's. I wasn't thinking about. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking about. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't none of that, cause we be around Western them. Cause we be around Western them. What the fuck they got to do with it? What Western them got to do with it? You wasn't thinking about what? What Wes and them got to do with it? Let me show y'all who Wes is, who she talking about. And I'm going to let y'all burn it up after this. Wes and them. But see, his name ain't Wes. But he represent the Wes. Y'all going to see when the pop back up. See right though, what I say? Western boys. That's who Irene was talking about as well. 
Them Western boys. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Why she why she brought their name up? Why she brought their name up? The Western boys. Why she did that? Thinking I want none of that, cause we be around Western them. 